Mr Speaker. Uh, Chris Hipkins. Mr Speaker, I don't have anything for the Leader of the House, but I do have a point of order that I would like to raise with you and ask you to consider and give some, some considered deliberation to before coming back to the House. And it relates to a matter that arose in the House last night during the committee stage debate on the exclusive economic zone and continental shelf environmental effects transitional provisions amendment bill, uh, a debate that took 36 minutes. During the committee stage, leave was given for clauses two to four to be taken as one debate with separate questions to be put at the end of the debate. After 36 minutes of the debate, uh, with speakers on all sides of the House seeking the call, the chair uh, presiding over the committee put the question to the vote as one question uh, and the debate was then finished. Uh, there was no closure motion before the House at the time and as I indicated there were members across the chamber seeking the call at the time. Um, I'd like you to consider the rules around this matter uh, because my understanding has certainly been that, we're, that there are only two, two ways in which a committee stage debate can end. One is where no one seeks the call, the other is where the chair accept, uh, takes a decision to accept a closure motion and the committee decides to end a debate. And I'd like you to reflect on that and make clear that that is the case. I'll hear from the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'd urge you uh, not to make a ruling that in any way constrains the, the chair of committees uh, over and above the rules 